Hi! Are you ready for our new lesson for today? Our lesson is about Addition and Subtraction of Similar Fractions. So today we will discuss about how to add and subtract fractions and mix fractions with and without regrouping. So to add the similar in simplest and mixed forms, first change the fractions to similar fractions, add the fractions, then add the whole numbers. Simplify the sum if possible. So let us see. Let us try the following example. So, 3, 7 plus 1, 7. So, as we can see, this is a similar fraction. So, kapag similar fraction, madali lang. We don't need to change it. So, we just add the numerator. So, yung number sa taas, ito yung numerator. So, we just add 3 plus 1 equals 4. Then, similar fraction, we just copy the denominator 7. So, 3, 7 plus 1, 7 equals for seventh. Given the following example or given three fourth plus four six. So first we need to find the L C D of four and six. How? So using the continuous division. So four and six is what divisible by two. So let us divide. Four divided by two is two. Six divided by two, three. So, since 2 and 3 is both a prime number, so I need to stop. So, let us multiply from the outside numbers. So, 2 times 2 times 3. So, ang LCD natin, 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2, 4 times 3 equals 12. So, after finding the LCD, so we will add or change 3 4 plus 4 6. So, we will use the LCD 12, so over 12. So, let us change. How to change it? So, we will divide denominator, given denominator. So, 12 divided by 4, 3. Multiply the denominator. 3 times 3 is 9. 12 divided by 6, 2. Times 4 equals 8. So, then add. So, applying the rules in similar fractions, we just add the numerator. So, 9 plus 8 equals 17 over 12. So, 17 over 12 is called improper number or improper fraction. So, we need you to change it into mix. How? So, we will divide 17 divided by 12. Equals 1. Times 12, 12. 17 minus 12, 5. So, magiging sagot natin. Your quotient will become your whole number. Your no remainder will become your rem numerator. And then, copy the denominator. So, the answer is 1 and 5, 12. Give an example, 9 and 1, 8 plus 3 and 5, 6. So, since this is a dissimilar fraction, we will find the LCD of 8 and 6 using the continuous division. So, it is both divisible by 2. So, let us divide. 8 divided by 2, 4. 6 divided by 2, 3. 4 and 3. So, wala na tayong pwedeng i-divide. So, the LCD, we will multiply 2 times 4 times 3. Number outside. 2 times 4, 8 times 3 equals 24. So, let us change. 9 and 1, 8 plus 3 and 5, 6. So, we will use the LCD, 24. So, 24. So, copy the whole number, 9 and 3. So, change lang natin yung fraction. So, again, divide the LCD to the given denominator. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Multiply the denominator times 1 equals 3. 24 divided by 6. 4 times 5 equals 20. So, let us add. 
3. So, since similar fraction at all, we can add 3 plus 20 equals 23. Then, copy the denominator, 24. So, 9 plus 3 equals 12. So, meron po ba tayong lowest term? So, wala na. So, the answer is 12 and 23 over 24. Next example, 4 and 2, 8 plus 1 and 2, 4. Again, so we will find the LCD of 8 and 4. So, 8 and 4. So, it is both divisible by 2. So, 8 divided by 2, 4. 4 divided by 2, 2. 4 and 2, again, divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2, 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. So, 2 and 1, wala na tayong pwede multiply or divide, I rather. So, we just multiply the outer numbers. So, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 1 equals 8. So, let us change the given numbers. 4 and 2, 8 plus 1 and 2 fourths. So, copy the whole number 4 and 1. <coughs> then, copy the LCD 8. Since the given number is 8, so no need to change. We just copy the numerator. Then, the other one, 8 divided by 4, 2, times 2 equals 4. Okay, so let us add. So, since similar fraction, add the numerator. 2 plus 4 equals 6 over 8. So, add the whole number, 4 plus 1 equals 5. 5 and 6, 8. So, is it the final answer? Not yet. Why? Because 6 and 8 can be reduced to lowest term. How? So, think of a number that we can divide both 6 and 8, or the GCF. So, yes. So, we can divide it both by 2. So, let us divide. 6 divided by 2, 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then, copy the whole number. So, the final answer is 5 and 3 fourths. Huwag kayong mag stop kung ang palagay nyo ang number natin ay may GCF pa or yung final answer. Next is, so when subtracting the similar fractions, first change them to similar fractions, subtract the numerators, then copy the common denominator. So to subtract fractions that require grouping, there are four steps to follow. Rename the with common denominators, regroup the first fraction, subtract the whole numbers and numerator, then simplify it if necessary. So, the given example, 3, 6 minus 1 third. So, the similar fraction first, we need to find the LCD of 6 and 3. So, divisible both by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 divided by 3, 1. So, LCD. So, let us multiply the number outside. 3 times 2, 6 times 1 equals 6. So, based on the given, 3, 6 minus one third. So let us change three six and one third. So let us use the LCD six. Since paraw sila na six, we just copy the numerator. So pangalawa na tayo. Six divided by three, two times one equals two. So pwede dito natin nilagay three six minus two six. So since similar fraction na to, we just subtract the numerator. Three times two 1 over 6. So, this is the final answer. Next. Example, 7 and 5, 6 minus 5, 10. So, meron na tayong whole number. Again, we will find the LCD of 6 and 10. 6 and 10 divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2, 3. 10 divided by 2, 5. So, 2, 3, and 5. So, we will multiply. So, the LCD is 2 times 3 times 5. 2 times 3, 6 times 5 equals 30. So, let us change. 7 and 5, 6 minus 5 cent. So, we copy the whole number 7. So, 30 and also 30. So, let us change. 30 divided by 6. 5 
times 5 equals 25. 30 divided by 10 equals 3 times 5 equals 15. So let us subtract 7. So write the whole number 7. 25 over 30 minus 15 over 30. So whole number, don't forget to write it since wala tayong pwedeng i-minus. 25 minus 15 equals 10. Then copy the whole number. Ah, denominator 30. Can we stop? So, not yet. Since 10 and 30 can be reduced to lowest term, so find the, the GCF, 10 and 30. Both divisible by 5. So, 10 divided by 5 to 30 divided by 5 equals 6. So, again, divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 6 divided by 2, 3. So, multiply natin. 5 times 2 equals 10. Or simply, number sa baba, yan ang lowest term. So, or, don't forget to write the whole number. 7 and 1 third. Okay. Example. 6 and 4, 12 minus 1 and 2 third. So, again, find the LCD of 12 and 3. So, divisible by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, stop tayo since we cannot divide anymore to 4 and 1. So, let us multiply the number outside. 3 times 4 equals 12 times 1 equals 12. So, let us change the given. 6 and 4, 12 minus 1 and 2, third. Copy the whole number 6 and 1. So, 12 then 12. 12, so we just copy the 4. So 12 divided by 3, 4 times 2 equals 8. So as we can see, mas mataas ang 8 than 4. So we will borrow, para mas maging mataas, we will borrow 1 from 6. So kapag nag-borrow na tayo, 6 will become 5. Saan mapupunta yung 1? So we just copy the denominator, 12. 12. So, ito na yung 1. Plus, kung ano yung denominator, yun yung ikakapi nyo. Kasi numerator and denominator, pag dinivide natin yan, is equivalent to 1. Plus, 4, 12. So, the answer is 5 and 16 over 12. Then, subtract natin 1 and 8, 12. So, let us subtract. 16 minus 8 equals 8 over 12. 5 minus 1 equals 4. So, lagyan natin sa taas. So, the answer is 4 and 8, 12. Can you stop? So, not yet. Since 8 and 12 is divisible both by, or the GCF is 4. So, dapat parang pwede i-divide. So, 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 12 divided by 2, 4 equals 3. So, copy the whole number. So, the final answer is 4 and 2, 3. Wag malilito. So, last number, 10 minus 2 and 3, 4. So, kapag whole number yan, and then you subtract to the mixed number, so of course, gagawin natin siyang mixed also. So, how? So, minus 1. Lagi, 10 minus 1 will become 9. So, napunta yung 1. Again, look at the denominator. You just copy. So, magiging 4 and 4. So, equivalent na natin yan sa 10. Minus 2 and 3 fourths. So, I can subtract since it is a similar fraction. So, subtract the whole number. 9 minus 2, 7. 4 minus 3, 1. Then, copy the denominator. So, inuna ko yung whole number since kita ko naman ng numerator mas malaki ang nasa unahan. So, 4 minus 3. Pero kapag hindi, so hindi pwede. Unahin muna natin yung numerator. I hope sana naintindihan nyo yung lesson natin. Medyo critical or medyo complicated, pero kaya natin yan. I hope may natutunan kayo ngayong araw na to about addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions. Sana magamit nyo ito sa inyong mga arali. Thank you! 
I hope you learned something new today. So, huwag natin kalilimutang mag-like and mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. Bye!